Hey YouTube, it's Jurak Master. I'm going to be doing Jurak Talk number two. Um, this is another video where I'm going to go over cards that work in Juraks, and I actually have a twist in this one where I have a card that I'm pretty sure most people would not expect to see in a Jurak deck. Um, I'll be showing that last, and I hope you enjoy. I also go over why the meta is uh, making us play certain things and making us stop playing certain things. Um, keep watching for more of these segments. I think they're very useful. And they make it so that you don't have to just find a Jurak deck and net deck it if you don't know what you're doing, because that's really bad. Um, you can watch some of these Jurak talk videos and learn how to make the deck for yourself and make it your own which makes you a much better player than net decking a deck and generally not having it fit your play type. I put my videos up there for your ideas, not for your deck. Don't just go to copying the deck unless it honestly fits your play style. So, uh, here's the video. Um, first up, I just put this in a, a video recently. Um, Super Ancient Dino Beast, he works very well because he's strong and comes out for one tribute, so you can tribute your, say, your Starico token to get him out, and he works very well in combination with a card that most Jurak players w should run, uh, that being Kinkabayo, because, as we know, Kinkabayo loves to bring this little guy out. So right there, you draw a card, tribute this, bring out another Jurak, draw another card. So, it's just two draws right there, I mean, it gives the deck a draw engine if you really want to run it, and if you face something big, something that you can't get over very easily, drop that on them, takes one tribute, shouldn't be hard to get out three monsters by them attacking over Sturico, you just drop that Hera too, so that's three monsters they have to get over, all dinosaur types, they don't kill them all, you have him. So, while this is out, I might as well talk about Kinkabayo itself. Um, as I just went over, it brings out Aeolo, which brings you out basically any monster that's a Jurak, except for Hera, and the big guys that no one really uses anymore. Um, just brings out the level 4 Jurak for you. Um, and at the end of the turn, it goes back to your hand, and then you play it again the next turn. So, it just loops with Aeolo, so every turn you get another one. And if you're really in a pinch, and you don't even have a, a token out, you can sync with it, and Aeolo into Formula Synchron. So, you can put up something, say they have a gadget, it's probably not the best idea anyways, because they might tribute off for Cyber Dragon. But if not, they can't run over it with a gadget, and it gives you a draw, so maybe you'll draw something like Reborn and just go into a level 6. So, that's it for that. And next up in this is Miracle Jurassic Egg. Um, if you're running 3 Velo especially, say you have Velo, they didn't kill it, and they summon Tengu and don't attack you because they know that you'll get out of it. They probably have a back row, just pop it because they're probably trying to get you to go for it and attack their Tengu so that you can triple Velo over them. Um, if they have another 17 guy or even an 18 guy especially, they probably won't attack you with that. Um, you can attack into it three times with Velo after summoning Miracle Jurassic Egg and they'll have no idea what hit them when you then use that to bring out Jurak Hera and maybe even Synchro because you could have gone into Gollum or something as the last guy. Um, so that makes a lot of sense to play in builds especially because it's really bulky defense wise. And if you're running that you probably should be using Jurassic World because it pumps up everything for dinosaurs very nice. Um, I typically use Molten Destruction because it's a bigger boost, but 
that's not going to work on Miracle Jurassic Egg, so it's not really going to help you. Um, another card I want to talk about that combos well with Kinkabayo in this deck is Zephyros the Elite. It just lets you synchro by using Kinkabayo. So this is in your graveyard, and you use Kinkabayo to bring out Aeolo. Aeolo goes to the grave and brings this out. Since this is going to go back to your hand anyways, you might as well just send it back, bring out Zephyros, and you've either got two big monsters now for the price of 400 damage, or if you have a tuner in your grave, a tuner Jurak, say Dino, you can sink into a level 7 like Black Rose. So in a pinch, you save your Kinkabayo, and you make a Black Rose. It's worth considering using in your deck. Um, it also can come out at a time that you don't synchro with it, and don't have Kinkabayo even. Uh, if you want to recycle a card to your hand, that works really well. Um, so, you should maybe consider trying to put that in a build. Um, the last monster is Effect Veiler. I know it's been in a lot of my deck videos along with Kinkabayo, so I forgot to put it in Jurak Talk 1 along with Kinkabayo because I just kind of always use them. Effect Veiler is a card that you should probably run. It stops OTKs, FTKs. It just, it's really helpful right now. It negates effects that you really don't want to see, and it just really, really helps. Um, very useful monster, and I main two a lot in more than just Jurax. But, seeing as this is Jurax talk, I main it in Jurax. It works very well. Um... And a trap card that's worth using, Tyrant's Temper. Um, I'm going to post a link in the description to one of my friend's videos that uh, uses this card in the main deck. You could check that out. Uh, this is a really good card in Jurax because Jurax hate getting hit by traps because they're big monsters that like to run over you and make more big monsters come out. So... If you can get rid of their traps, what's that leave them? Book of Moon? Um, so they book your monster, you bring out Hera, big deal. Um, it just makes it so that you can tribute maybe your Jurak token from Sterico, and you've got that right there. You're not affected, your monsters aren't affected by traps, except for Tyrant's Temper. So I believe that means that you can't get oppressioned. I could be wrong. I haven't ever tried that, so please don't hold me to that. Um, I'll look it up and see if I can post a comment or something on that, but still, even if it does let oppression hit you, very useful card. And now the card you've all been waiting for, that most of you probably wouldn't expect to see in Jurax, Macrocosmos. Um, you could build around that by removing Aeolo, because Aeolo obviously doesn't work if you don't have monsters in the grave, and it kind of kills off Giganoto, but you can sink into other monsters, which is why it works, and you'd have to make a completely different build around Macrocosmos. It's not really something you could put in a side deck, so that's why I put this in here. It's a useful card. You could think about a Macro Jurak build. Um, mainly why I say this is most monsters, such as Gwaiba from Jurax, they really don't care about sending the monster to the graveyard. Their effect is just if it destroys it by battle, such as also Iguanon does this. So if you destroy their monster by battle, you get to remove it with Macrocosmos face up, and you also special summon your monster anyways. Iguanon's effect would still work, so it's a very useful card. Um, I might actually build Macro Jurax and post it. Uh, keep your eye out for that. Should be an interesting deck. I'll try to play test that on Dueling Network for you. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later, YouTube.